What is up guys? I am here in the University of South Florida Physique Enhancement Lab. In today's video, I want to tell you guys exactly what to do when weight loss stalls. So about a month ago, I started a fat loss phase and right now um, I'm about 151.8 pounds. So last week I checked in with you guys, I was 151.4 pounds. So let's take a look at my check-in sheet and see what my weight did this week. So my weight actually went up and then went down by the end of the week. Keep in mind that I did not change anything from the week before. I'm still resistance training four times a week and hitting that 10,000 daily step goal as well as those five by 30 minute incline walking sessions. So if everything lines up, you're in a good mental state. You're not too stressed out all the time. You're being really consistent with tracking in the gym. You're getting good sleep. Everything seems to be falling in line. What's going on? Um, did you gain fat overnight? So for me, I was 151 pounds last week, and this week I'm still 151 pounds. So what could be happening is this term called metabolic adaptation. And all that means is my body is doing exactly what I expected and what it's supposed to do. So after a period of time of doing the same thing over and over again, right? Your body's smart, it picks up on that. And what does it do? It changes things on the inside to adapt. Um, your body doesn't wanna give up that fat. You know, it's really comfortable carrying that around. So it wants to hold on to it. So what's gonna happen is your weight loss is going to stall. And what you can do is a few things. So in response to metabolic adaptation, you need to make a change. Um, you need to further go into a negative energy balance and you can do that by one of two things You can decrease your caloric intake or you can increase your energy expenditure What does that mean? I do cardio in the form of incline walking five sessions of 30 minutes per session I could increase that to 35 minutes per session, or I could decrease my macros by some degrees. And another situation, so if you've been dieting for a prolonged period of time, your macros are getting really low, you're like, man, I don't know if I can eat any less, hey, maybe it's time to eat a little bit more. I would probably look into somebody individually and either recommend a refeed, um, or even implement a double refeed, maybe it's time for a diet break, but I think that is a topic for a different video, but that's a different approach too. So if your fat loss stalls, you might just need to eat more to be honest. And one last thing I wanna point out is there is no one right way to lose body fat. So I would recommend the slower you lose fat, the better. And why? Because if you are trying to lose fat fast, you are probably losing more than just body fat. You are probably losing muscle, lean body mass. Um, we don't want that at all. So our goal is fat loss, not weight loss. So if you guys tuned into my last video, link is in the description box. Uh, you will see and hear exactly why you're wanting to lose fat at a slow rate. The slower your fat loss is, the more likely that you are losing body fat. So the research we do here at University of South Florida is all designed around dieting interventions, physique enhancement while preserving that metabolic rate. So we don't want to lose fat fast. And that is absolutely why, is to protect that metabolism and ensure that you are losing body fat. So. I hope this video was really helpful for you guys and I look forward to helping you guys further on your fat loss goals, dieting interventions. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you like this kind of content and find it helpful, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because a lot of great content is being filmed. Thank you guys for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.